Good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. We've got 52 degrees to start the day off in Salisbury. Temperatures in the low 50s around the county, depending on your location. And we've pretty much got 50s across the area. And uh, the warmest spot the, on the map this morning looks to be Charlotte coming in at 61 degrees. Another great day on tap weather-wise for us. We'll have sunny conditions. Temperatures will get into the 80s, but we'll feel pretty comfortable out there because of the dew point. So certainly get out there and enjoy it. It's going to be another great day, especially to just be outside. Let's go ahead and turn those temperatures off and go ahead and focus on the tropics. A couple of things going on. Uh, with the hurricane potential out here in the Atlantic. We'll start off, first of all, by dropping down to the Gulf. And we've got a little system down here, not expected to become a named storm, but it does have the potential to at least uh, cause some disruptions along the Gulf Coast over <clears throat> the next few days. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it, see if it gives us any rain potential as we move into next week. And then we've got Larry out here, which is a hurricane that we're keeping an eye on. Uh, as of right now, no concern for the storm making landfall in the United States, but keeping an eye on that track, because if it were to shift back to the west just a little bit, uh, then it does give the potential for maybe landfall somewhere along the northeast coast of the United States. But again, at this point, uh, no real concern, but something to keep an eye on as we go through the next few days. So we'll certainly continue to keep you updated on that. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the weather impacts now coming up. Weather Impact sponsored by Patterson Farm. The fall educational school tour is coming up September 17th through November the 5th. You can book your tour and get all the details at visitpattersonfarm.com. And there's also all kinds of other activities going on out at the farm as we go into the fall season. Got the corn maze that'll be coming up. You can go out there and do that in person or you can do a virtual corn maze as well. Uh, also the pumpkin patch will be coming up as we get toward the middle of the fall season and the Halloween holiday comes up in there as well. So certainly another fun time out at the farm and don't forget you can also stop out at the market and get some fresh from the farm produce uh, to bring home and certainly enjoy as well and all kinds of other goodies out there at the market also the uh, weather impacts for today we'll see patchy fog possible over fields and bodies of water until around 9 a.m this morning sunny skies during the day winds will be calm for the most part out there and will be mostly clear and cool this evening the tropical cyclone names, we've been keeping an eye on those. Right now, we've got Hurricane Larry out there. Again, that system down in the Gulf is not expected to become a named storm. If for some reason it did, it would become Mindy. Uh, but if not, that is our next named storm on tap for us as we head through the hurricane season. The Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn, and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call, 980-521-1930. 37. Main pollen drivers continue to be grasses, tuna pods, and ragweed. And you can see we've got high levels through the holiday weekend and then some extreme levels return by the middle of next week as we get to the low 90s once again. The mowing forecast looking really good for the holiday weekend. Certainly going to feel nice and comfortable out there and we're going to be dry. There is a slight chance that we could see an isolated shower sometime in the afternoon hours on Monday, but I certainly would not let that uh, stop any outdoor plans you have because the chance is so minimal, it's almost not worth mentioning, but it's enough that the, a stray shower could pop up. So certainly be aware, but again, don't cancel any outdoor plans. Don't let that ruin any opportunities you've got planned out there to have some fun this holiday weekend. The mosquito forecast, we've got medium levels of activity through the holiday weekend and then high levels returning by the middle of next week with those temperatures warming back back into the 90s and some warmer nighttime temperatures as well. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today, we'll see sunny skies, high of 84. Low of 59, but mostly clear skies this evening. On Sunday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 88. Mostly clear skies Sunday evening with a low of 65. Monday, we'll see sunny skies, high of 88. Mostly clear skies Monday evening and a low of 63. Again, I do have a 20% chance of a scattered, or excuse me, an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there for Monday. So it's certainly something to keep an eye on, but don't cancel any plans you have. Just go with it. And uh, if, if you do get a shower, it may last 
a matter of minutes, if that long. Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies, high of 90, low of 65, with mostly clear skies Tuesday evening. And then on Wednesday, we'll see partly sunny skies with a high of 91. Our next cold front will start to move into the area uh, by or during the day on Wednesday. So we could see a 30% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, by Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening with a low of 65. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather, you can visit our website anytime, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire, channel 394, Spectrum, channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Saturday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.